Hello everyone and welcome to KDH Art Class. Today we're going to be doing gesture drawings. So gesture drawings are just giving the basic shapes and the position or the movement of your subject. If I was doing a person, this would be a gesture drawing of a person leaning against a wall. Okay? Or just standing there really funny looking. That's your choice. You're the artist. So you're not worried about the eyes, the nose, the, the details of the hair, what, what kind of clothes they're wearing. Not worried about any of that. You're just simply giving the basic movement of it. So let's talk about a person. Let's take our paper because we're going to do a couple different drawings. I want you to fold your paper in half. Right. And when you open it up, take your pencil. Remember, I use a marker so you can see better. But you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw a line from the top of your paper to the bottom. This allows us to do two different pictures. But we want to do four different pictures on the front. And then we're going to fold our paper the other way and open it up and do a line this way. So when we do that, we have a, like a giant plus sign in the middle of our paper. And now we can do one, two, three, four different pictures. Okay. I'll give you guys about five, four, three, two, and one. We're ready to move on. We're going to be doing a four-legged animal, and we're actually going to end up doing like four different four-legged animals. So how do we do a four-legged animal? Well, in the middle, our four-legged animal is facing sideways, so it has a belly. So we're going to do a make-believe one, a pretend one, and then from there, the front legs are a circle, and the back legs come from a circle. Sorry, they come from the circle. Looking crazy, kind of like binoculars or something like that. But that's okay. It gets us started. This particular four-legged animal has what looks like an ice cream cone for the neck. Doesn't look like any animal I know. But again, we're just doing the gesture. We're finding the shapes of the animal so we can move it into different positions. The head of this animal takes two circles. A bigger one and a smaller one. When we connect it, we made its head. From there, we need the legs. Most four-legged animals. All right. The front leg, when they're standing on it, the knee is about there and their foot is about there. Right. It's usually straight down in the front. What's crazy about the back leg is it comes backwards a little bit before it comes forward. And you have your little front leg there. You got this little joint right there. very confusing because we want to bend it the other way because that's the way our knees go. Well, their front legs are like our knees. So if I wanted my animal to bend its leg in the front, it would go that way. To show the other leg in the back, I'm going to get close by and 
put to my, my second leg there. So I kind of did the same thing. So he's just kind of standing there. He's got one leg forward. So here's a basic gesture of the animal. And what's neat about this is without even any of the details, we can change it up. So let's change it up to this next one. Uh, right now you're probably going, oh, it's kind of a dog, it's kind of a horse, you know, could be a goat, who knows? Uh, we haven't added the details. We just have the basic movement. So over here, that same oval for the belly. See the belly? Okay. The same front legs and back leg circles. That tells us where the legs are coming out of. Okay. This time, my ice cream cone is going down. My legs, again, nothing too fancy. And the head is what has changed on this one. Again, a little four-legged animal is doing something different. So we're showing the different movement. If I want to show the other legs, uh, remember they're coming out of this little circle area. It could be taking a step forward, make it a little shorter, and then it looks like it's further away. And you notice I made the knee a little bit higher up on it. Okay. And same with this other one. It's just a little bit shorter. See, they're not lined up. Those are there, and those are shorter. And then the knees should also be a little bit shorter. All right. Now, let's go crazy and start adding some details. I'm gonna change marker color so that you can see better. I think red would be a nice change. In this case, magenta. So you can still keep your pencil, but now you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So we have this circle. Okay. See that? From the back of this circle to this circle down here, I'm going to connect it, the front and the back. Now it looks kind of like an ice cream cone right here. Right. You don't have to color it in, I'm just making it easier to see. You see that shape? It's kind of like the ice cream cone with the scoop on top. Now, that's because this circle is big and this one is small. Well, this circle and this circle are about the same, so the lines are going to be a little bit closer together. And again, I will color it in so it's easier to see. So you have kind of your leg there. Changing colors again. This front leg is in a different position, but it's still going to kind of come out. Can you even see that yellow? No. Let's change it to a green. Let's see if we can see green. All right. It's going to be coming out of the bottom of that circle. So you see how it's going from this big circle to the smaller circle. And again, I'll just kind of color it so you kind of see it. So it's the same shape as this one. And then when it comes down, it's 
back to being skinny again. Just like this one. Okay. Show it on the back legs. I want my leg a little bit thicker. So we have the gesture, and now we're coming back in with more of the details. All right. We have this circle here. That's where the legs are coming out of. Those are the hips. Now, it's going to connect and connect, and you're going to end up coloring this whole section. Sorry, I'm coloring this whole section so you can see it. Now, you notice I gave it a little bit of a curve because we have to come out to this little spot. And then again, coming down, a little bit skinnier, and we can connect there. The green one's on the other side, so it's coming from the back there, and it's coming from the front right there, and we are coloring it in, or I am coloring it in so you can see. Same as the legs, our circles are closer, or the same size, so it's just thicker looking. From there, you'll decide what does the tail look like, what do the ears look like, is it a dog, is it going to be a goat, is it going to be a cat, lion, tiger, cheetah, right? And you will adjust it from there. So, we're taking these basic shapes. We're now starting to bring it to life. With mine, my head is a little too big. The neck is a little too short. Mm -hmm. The body's a little small, but I happen to know of some puppy dogs that look similar to it. So maybe I'm going to do a puppy dog ear. and a puppy dog nose notice I did the nose here the mouth is under the nose and you only see one eye Then it's up to you if you want your puppy dog's tail. So you've now taken this gesture drawing and you've now turned it into your animal. By the time you come in and you color your animal, whatever color you're going to color it. Of course I grab a crayon that's got no crayon left on it. It's all paper. And you color your animal, voila, you have a puppy dog that you didn't have before. So, same thing here. We need to take this first circle. We're going to connect it to that smaller circle. So that when we come back in and color it in, it covers up those lines. Same with coming down to the foot. Coming back in, coloring the foot and those lines. Remember the back leg has that little curve right there. So it's got a curve. And connect to this circle. So when we color in that circle, and that area we connected it to, there's the back leg. Comes down to the foot. 
time you color it in, right, you have your back leg changing colors here. Again, the hard part is imagining this circle and connecting here. And you're not going to see a whole lot of this one because it's behind. It's just a little bit sticking out. Okay. I'm actually even going to change the colors. Maybe I'll just go with an orange. Eh, looks the same on my screen. Sorry about that. Just trying to pick a color you can see better. And then it connects. Since it looks the same, I might as well color it the same. Color that little foot. And you don't see a whole lot of this leg. Coloring in and connecting the circles and coloring it in, coloring the foot. And by the time we color in the body, and you're covering up all your pencil lines, it's starting to look more and more like your animal. Oop, I forgot things like the ear. The eye, the nose, the mouth. And then I can come in and color. Oop, tail. So you're able to move things around with your gesture drawing. And voila, once you have the gesture, you can now start making it look like your animal. Okay, let's change our animal. So the neck was a little short, head was a little big, legs were a little short worked out good for a puppy dog. Let's, uh, let's, do, let's do something else. Start off with an oval. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always press pause and let everybody catch up. Mm -hmm. We still need those two circles. the front and the back legs. Mm -hmm. This animal has very short neck. So I'm just going to go straight to the head. I can connect the head. The legs they're going to be a little bit longer, but the same idea, the same bending. It's just things are going to be a little bit longer. Longer, longer, foot. Longer, longer, foot. Oh, kind of made that longer than the other one. My bad. Good thing it's a gesture drawing and I can I can fix it a little bit. Now this one. It's going to have a little tail. And the nose. It's gonna be short. And the ears are going to be pointy. Started off the same way as our dog, our four legged animal, is now a cat. Minus this leg being super long, but it's okay. It works for our kitty cat. Again, if you wanted a second leg, you could always add the second leg. Must come out of this circle area. And same with the front leg. Say. 
Maybe I'm really going to bend it up. So now, the neck is really short, so it won't be able to go down very well, but maybe it's going to be looking up. Let's just start off with our body. We need the circle that our front legs are coming out of. We need the circle that our back legs are coming out of. Again, the legs bend backwards. We add our little foot. Our front legs. Coming out of the front circle. Remember, there's a very short neck on this one. Oh, didn't make it big enough. There we go. Like I said, I wanted it to look upwards. Connect my head, which is a circle and a square. Add my little triangle. So maybe it's more of a curled tail down here. So you can put the different things in places so that it helps you figure out where everything is going to be at. Crossing the legs, holding it up. And now we need to connect and color. So going back over here, just like the dog, we start with that circle area for the shoulder. You can even color it in so you see the shoulder better. And then from this side down to this circle. And this side down to the circle color it in or you want to erase your lines in between okay. and then from that circle to your foot add your lines and color it in okay. same with the front leg okay. again remember how we're coming out of the same circle so this is going to go up, and this one's probably already almost right there. So I'm going to color it in. Then I add my lines coming down. So there's the front legs. Same with the back legs. You have this circle. And we do that little curve shape here. And we connect to so that circle. Is now connected to the knee. probably calling all the body parts wrong. It is a cat, not a human after all. And the two lines that connect the top uh, from the knee to the foot. And then of course the back leg. Making that a little curve. Connecting. Color it in. Connect.
connecting. Coloring it in. Don't forget the little feet. And the body. Neck. <laughs> and then you have a smaller little nose. A little what I call the little puffs on either side. The mouth is underneath those little puffs. Remember when you're looking at a cat you usually have this little circle and this little circle. And the mouth is located underneath. So we're doing it sideways. Got the little eye. We already did the ear. I like to add like a second ear that you can see. Don't forget the tail. It's longer. And when you cut color everything in. And you have your little kitty cat. Again, these are basic gesture drawings, just getting your bearing. All right, I'm going to leave this last one up to you. On the crisscrosses, just keep in mind when you're coming out, see, I think we had this one being the front leg, wherever you have this, you don't need to do the other lines. They're going to come from the other, it's going to stop, stop, and stop right there because it's bumping into that little section. And then you finish up your lines and color it in. So this is the basic gesture drawings of four-legged animals, keeping with a very simple breakdown. Oval body. Circle for the front legs to come out of. Circle for the back legs to come out of. A circle for your head. How far away is it? Is it longer? Is it shorter? Imagine how long a giraffe's neck would be. And how long the legs would be on a giraffe. I hope this helps you in starting to improve your drawing skills. And keep in mind, gesture drawings, they help us show the movement and the basic shapes. Keep drawing, keep practicing, you get better and better the more you do it. I enjoyed this little lesson with you guys, I look forward to working with you again. And this is Miss Howard from KDH Art Class saying sayonara. Bye.